What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Dale here today, man. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about the pros and cons and just the advantages of having your CDL license in the manual or automatic. And before we start this video, man, can you guys please, please, please subscribe if you're new to watch it, man. Just kill and smash and tear that like button up for me, man. And just spell my comments with comments from my YouTube algorithm, guys, so I can just get out there more, man. So, yeah, man, let's get into the video, guys. So, take a good picture, man, you know. It's like, no, but <laughs> as you guys all know, man, I recently just graduated CDO school, and I'm still excited about that. Still very happy about that, especially falling on the first time I took it, so... I'm so happy that I got this. And to the guy who failed me, man, if you're watching this, man, thank you for failing me at first, brother. I appreciate that, man. You know, build character. <laughs> but all right, guys, let's get into the video. So um, I got a question on, did I know how to operate a stick shift or manual before I went to CDO school? And I did not. I didn't have any experience with a car stick shift. He had a lot of any experience with trying to operate an 18 wheeler in a stick shift or a manual. But I took that challenge because a lot of the drivers that I knew, speaking to some that's been driving for 18 years, about 25 years or just 30 years plus, they learn how to drive on the manual. So I wanted to do that because, you know, that's how I learned. That was like one of the, that's, that is the best way to learn how to drive um, your 18 wheeler. So that was one of like the pros right there is that is literally that is literally the best way to learn how to drive. It's a little more challenging and it costs more to learn how to drive on a manual than it does on an automatic. But like I said, I'm going to get to that. I'm going to get to that later in the video. But again, so I learned how to drive on a manual just because one, I knew it was a little more challenging, but I knew that was the best way to learn how to drive. And also, I didn't want to blemish on my record, meaning... I don't know blemish if, if if blemish is the right word to use for that, but meaning like this. After I graduated CDO school and a job was looking to hire me, if it's a big company, if it's a small company or anything like that, I want to have my record showing that I can operate any type of 18 wheeler. So meaning I can operate a stick shift if it's a stick shift, or I can operate an automatic vehicle if it's an automatic vehicle. So that's why I want to get my um my license, that's why I did get my license in the manual because it just gives me like advantage and a head up on someone who doesn't have their CDL license and the automatic. But you're not wrong if you do decide to get your CDL license in an automatic truck because at the same time, a lot of these big corporations and small, even these small companies that's gonna to come to your school or try to hire you after you get out of CDL school, they often just operate off of um, automatic vehicles now. So in this day and age, and in these times that we're living in today, as we all know and as we all see, technology keeps growing day by day. Like, I honestly believe, it's not honestly believe, I know that they're gonna have semi trucks that's gonna be electric very soon. So again, as technology grows, and as we keep growing as society and just day by day, we're moving from a lot of things that we used to do in the past, so like, you know, the manuals or stuff that we used to do in the 80s and the 90s and the early 2000s, stuff like that. We're moving away from that and we're just getting better at technology and just better materials. And then it's just better wear and tear on your body if you're not sitting up here all day or trying to wrestle with a clutch and you're footing on wrestling with the clutch and you're breaking, you're doing all this shifting and stuff like that. That's a little more harder on your body. So I would say a pro of getting your CDL license and automatic is in most places it's going to be cheaper to learn on automatic than it would be learning on a manual and then at the same time a lot of these companies and a lot of these corporations once they hire you they're going to hire you um you're going to be driving an automatic truck that's like for my company right when i get my drivers or anyone that's on my team and stuff like that we're going to have new trucks my trucks are not going to be stick shifts it's going to be <laughs> it's not going to be stick shifts at all you know what i'm saying it's going to be new trucks with new materials and things like that, and it's gonna be automatic trucks. But just because it's gonna be that, I also might look at someone's record and say, hey, this person learned, this person knows and learned how to drive in a manual. So even to say we do have a truck that is a stick shift, which you're not, but say, say you have to move a vehicle from point A to point B for a partner, and their vehicle is an automatic truck. I mean, their vehicle is a stick shift and it's a manual. 
I can call this person up and uh, hey, I'll pay you to go get this truck and move it from point A to point B rather than I can't call someone over here who doesn't have or who does not have that ability or that skill set and knows how to drive a stick shift. They only know how to drive automatic. So again, that just gives you like a little um a little one up on people and a little advantage that just that who who does not know how to drive or operate a stick shift. But again, like I said, at the same time, man, you know, it's kind of a preference. Because like I told you before, man, it's not going to stop you from getting a job at all. It's not going to stop anybody from hiring you. And I know they talk about how it's a driver. It's the shortest of drivers, but that's not true at all. So don't believe that crap. That's really not true. But like I said before, man, it just gives you advantage. And it'll just make a job more prone to or more subject to hiring. Because they're like, hey, this person can operate any type of vehicle that we have here. If it's a stick shift, it's if it's automatic, they can operate any vehicle because once you learn how to drive on the manual, driving the automatic trucks is just like driving an automatic car, man. It's just, it's not that hard at all. It's just being more attentive of while we're in our 18 wheeler and also just being a little more patient, man. You know, just taking our time and just like I said before, being a little more cost is a little more safety and just because you know you're going to have thousands of dollars of thousands 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 worth of material and then you have this asset this big asset this big machine that you're driving so of course you don't want to mess that up and you want to be like i say we're where we are the best drivers out here that they have that the world has and we keep this road going and turning and running so that's the only difference in just driving an automatic car versus an automatic truck so that's one thing man and what's another problem is getting your CDL license and a stick shift. Um, well, like I said before, one, you could just operate any type of vehicle, man. It doesn't matter if it's stick shift, doesn't matter if it's automatic. One, you just have an advantage from people who just do not know how to operate in, um, in an automatic truck. But like I say again, I know I repeat myself, but like I say again, it kind of is preference. It is a preference just because like a lot of these trucks that we see on the road today, a lot of them aren't stick shifts. You're not a going. You're not going to find a lot of stick shifts no more because there's just that's just older trucks, older models and stuff like that. And we're just moving past. We're moving past that. We're moving forward from that. But at the same time, it is out there. But it's probably rare that when you get out of CDO school that you're going to go to a company or you're going to go to one of these companies that is still driving stick shifts and stuff like that. You may. It is a possibility, but. It's just, it's not that, I mean, it's a possibility, but again, guys, like, I'm just being honest with you guys. It's kind of slim, you know what I'm saying? You're going to, you're going to have more experience. You're going to run into more trucks that's automatic than manuals and stuff like that. But at the same time, like I said, again, I did it because I wanted to give myself that advantage of knowing, okay, I have this ability. I have this skill set. I know how to operate any type of vehicle, any type of 18 motor I can operate. You can put me in it and I can operate it. Hey, if anyone needs this vehicle move from point A to point B, they can call me and I can be like, okay, I'm fit for the job. I'm qualified for this job to do this and do that. If I don't have my CDL license in the um, manual, then hey, I can only drive an automatic car. So I can miss out on that opportunity of being able, okay, cool, just getting paid to just move a truck from here to here. That's a stick shift. That may be on the side of the road or something like that, or that's just that just needs to be moved. So that's her pro. And then, like I tell you before, man, if you get your um, CDL license in the automatic, I truly believe that your status L will be easier. <laughs> and like I said before, it costs a little cheaper to get it in the automatic. But again, your status L will be easier just because you don't have to worry about this down sifting a lot, man. You don't have to worry about sifting a lot, grinding gears and stuff like that, losing point on losing points on um, grinding gears or classing gears or just down sifting the wrong way and stuff like that it'll probably be easier for you to get out of cdo school and just get started with a job quicker and swifter easier but also you know if you're a good driver man you're a good driver so that, that doesn't mean be scared and like not try to get your license in um a manual because just like me i didn't know how to drive it at all at first guys but i learned man and I came to class every day, bro, and I just paid attention. I was just doing what I was supposed to do, and I really learned how to drive a stick shift, and I'm happy, and I'm grateful that I did learn, because now, again, I have that ability. I have that skill set. I have that one up on someone who does not know how to drive an automatic. So, again, though, but like I said before, probably getting in the automatic, man, is just like, yo, it's cheaper. 
a lot of these companies, even smaller companies like myself, I'm gonna I'm gonna have trucks that's this automatic. So they're not gonna be stick shifts at all. So you're still gonna get hired. They're still gonna bring you on a team and stuff like that. So you don't have to worry about getting a job. And again, your status is not really maybe easier because you don't have to worry about shifting so many gears and down shifting just the technicalities that come within having to operate a manual truck. So that's one benefit there, man. I'm trying to think what else, man, you guys ask me, man, and just anything else that I just need to talk about or answer for you guys on this uh, specific topic right here. Because, again, if you all have any questions, man, for me, if you want to know my take and just any that's any real, real responses and stuff like that, because, guys, a lot of times, man, I honestly be talking to, like, a lot of people who have been driving for 10, 20, 30 plus years are just new drivers. So I can get the information and come back and share it with you all and just help you all on your journey, on my journey. And just like I said, just spread the knowledge and the information because knowledge is free, man. Like, I don't want to withhold anything from you guys, man. That's why I'm making these videos. And that's why I would say, man, please, if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, man, subscribe and just smash my like buttons, man. And just comment for me, man, just so my YouTube algorithm can get out there more. But... <laughs> but again, so um, again, I mean, that's pretty much like kind of the pros and cons of just having it in a manual or just having it in an automatic truck. Like you're not wrong if you do want to get your CDL license in an automatic truck because you're still gonna get hired. You're still gonna find a job. A lot of these trucks nowadays are automatic anyway, and not stick shifts. You just won't have the ability to know how to operate. A manual truck and to someone out there you may not care about that because you're like hey i'm not going to run into that problem anyway i'm not going to be driving any manuals or any stick shifts anyway so who cares sign me up to get my automatic and get me working so if you're like that that's cool but again if you have a stick shift you have i mean you have your license in a in a manual and um stick shift that hey you can operate any type of vehicle you can hop in any vehicle you don't have a blemish on your record and some jobs may look at you and put you over someone that does not, who do not, who does not have that skill set of knowing how to um, operate um, a manual. So that can kind of give you that advantage and just being able to move any type of 18 wheeler because you just know how to, you have that skill set and you have that ability. So that's really my take on it, guys, man. And again, man, I'm happy just to be talking to you guys. I'm happy to show you guys this, man. If you're starting CDL school and you're getting to it, man, you're going to graduate too. You're going to get through it. You're going to have a little challenges and struggles and stuff like that, man. But you're going to be fine, bro. You're going to get through it, man. And my ladies up there, you're going to get through it. So, man, thank you, YouTube, for watching, man. Please subscribe. Please like and just please comment for me, guys, man. You guys be blessed, man.